<laughs> well, Woodland is hosting a wine fest and the proceeds benefit a great cause. Wine lover herself, Lori Wallace, is live at Heritage Plaza with a look <laughs> at this upcoming event. Hi, Lori. Hey there, good morning, you guys. I need a big shout out to the crew over here that survived the win and got this thing set up outdoors oh for us this morning <laughs> because Woodland Wine Fest is back uh, after the pandemic, of course. It's been a while. They are so happy. This is a huge fundraiser. In fact, the biggest fundraiser uh, for Stroptimus out here. And you still can buy tickets, $35, woodlandwinefest.com or 40 bucks at the door if those tickets are still available. So mm -hmm. kind of talk a little bit about this event and why it's so important for you guys. Sure, so uh, this is our sixth annual and this is our major fundraiser for Seropimus International of Woodland. We've been around for 75 years. We uh, provide scholarships and programs that benefit women and girls with the understanding that the men in their life then reap the rewards of those benefits. So. Okay, so we're doing this with wine, uh, wine as we head into the weekend here, and you have yeah. some great wineries on tap that are gonna be pouring uh, for the event as well. We do. We have. Uh, 15 wineries and um you know, this, it's wonderful. We couldn't do this event without our wineries, obviously, and so we really appreciate the support that we get from our community. And, uh, yeah, we have some, some wonderful uh, uh, wonderful examples out here this morning. Okay, we have Cape Bay Valley Vineyards here, and Pam, thank you for the tissue, by the way. She provided <laughs> me with some tissue as I was sneezing about 100 times out here. Uh, let's talk about the wines that you're going to be pouring at the event. Okay, well, we have four, uh, a still Viognier, our Cabernet, and two Sparklings. We call this Yolo County Champagne. It's uh, sparkling Viognier, and we've been doing this for quite a few years, and it's been very popular. So uh, we think that's always our big seller. Yeah, right up my alley for sure. <laughs> Something bubbly. Okay, and then talk a little bit about the vineyards and the winery. We're out in Cape Valley, about in the middle of the valley in Brooks, uh, planted over 22 years ago. Do everything on site. The grape never leaves. It goes from vineyard to bottle all in the same place. All right, Pam, thank you. And we're part of this group, the Yolo County Vineyard Winery Association, which is a very vibrant organization. And uh, you can if you go to uh, that website, you'll see all of our members. Okay, yeah, Yolo County, a big spot for wine. And sometimes people may not think about uh, all the opportunities to, to visit vineyards and wineries out in this region. That's oh true. my oh. goodness. I'm sorry, this is not sexy Beyonce hair. This is something <laughs> real different, Corey. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, I'm sorry. No, We're really just gonna make right. it work. No, we have a huge variety of, of wineries within a 20 minutes drive of, of Woodland, 20 to 30 minutes. And so we really encourage people to come out and and see what Yolo County has to offer as far as wineries and um, and support Swarovski International of Woodland as we support uh, women and girls. Um, um, in their educational pursuits. Yeah, and gas is expensive, so this gives you an opportunity to get all of those places in right. one spot. You don't have to drive all over to see them all. Coming up next hour, we're gonna hear from Grindstone and also talk a little bit more about some of the other vendors that are gonna be out here at this weekend's event. Again, 35 bucks if you purchase your ticket now at woodlandwinefest.com, 40 bucks at the door if they have tickets left. Guys, back over to you. Now, Lori, if you take a glass of champagne and just kinda of throw the champagne up in the air, <laughs> it will reach us here at the station within 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I could share with you so easily. <laughs> so I checked easily. the wind gusts this morning, and they were around 35 miles per hour here in Woodland, up to about 45 later today. Uh -huh. So the good news is not that bad this weekend, and yep. thankfully because it is also Woodland High School's prom oh. tomorrow, and the girls are like, Hello. Heck no, I'm not dealing with right? this wind and yeah. the hair. Yeah. No, oh thank goodness. you. Yeah. So thank better day tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Beyonce. Appreciate you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>